Nathan Robinson, editor of Current Affairs Magazine. And I'm Warren Nimney, your legal editor of Current Affairs Magazine. And I have absolutely no idea how to cook. Um, most cooking shows depict someone who knows a lot about cooking, making things that are beautiful and delicious. Um, and I hate those shows <laughs> because uh, every time I watch them, I just go, I couldn't make that. You're making a thing that I will never make. I hate it. I can't cook, and I can't really feed myself. So I can kind of cook. Well, I'm you not can cook. a professional, you, 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 but I can cook. You a can cook bit. quite well, and, and I like it. And and I know this. Oren Oren enjoys cooking and takes pride in his cooking. And so what we thought is uh, something a little different from usual cooking videos in which you watch someone who's very very competent. Uh, you could watch someone who is very incompetent, who is me, um, learning from the very 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 basics. Um, of just what is food? How do you even, I don't know. How do we think about it? How, yeah, so I mean, I'm a middling cook, but that's pretty much all you need to be to actually feed yourself. You don't need to be some kind of Gordon Ramsay type of professional. And so what we're gonna do is not what normal cooking shows do where they teach you a recipe and then you have to follow it step by step. And if you don't follow it step by step, you feel like an idiot. Instead, we're gonna do a few different dishes. We're gonna feed ourselves. Yeah. But also, we're gonna think about how you actually start to well, think about what you might want to eat and how you get food and how you put it in your body and all these. Because the thing is that I every day I wake up and I'm like, I don't know what to eat. I don't know how to think about what to eat. I look in my pantry and I go, these are ingredients. What do I? I, I and then you know, as a result, I end up doing a lot of microwave meals. I defrost my dinner mm -hmm. most days. Um, get a lot of of take out um, because I just I don't it's it's not just that I don't know how to make things you say it's also that I don't know where to begin in thinking about how do I prepare not just a, here's a recipe a meal how, how do I plan um, we started here by going to my pantry yeah well so you talked about your pantry right that I you have a pantry. Up, you have a pantry. It's a lovely pantry. It's very nice. Um, and we went through your pantry and, and your fridge. And this is what we got out of your now, pantry, <laughs> more or to, less. I have to say you um, were unimpressed with the contents of my well, pantry and fridge. Look, this is going to be a very anarchic, socialist, kind kind of cooking show. Okay. And so, so you, need, you know, the things so. that are appropriate to have in our pantry is what you'd like. But... I will say so, that maybe, perhaps, you might want things that so, can create a meal, and you might not want, for example, nine different containers of jam, which is what yes, I found did, in your so, fridge. So what, we did, what we've done here is we've taken some highlights from my pantry um, so that you can highlights see... Highlights is a strong word. Okay, we've taken some selections <laughs> that we feel are representative. Um, we didn't take the contents of my fridge, but as you say, there were nine kinds of jam because I keep buying jam thinking I don't have jam. One lone potato, a half box of blueberries, and other assorted jars. So Not things that you could even though I don't so beer, even though you don't drink. Well, a lot of soda, so, which you don't drink. And yes, I, I, so my pantry is stocked up with the things that I think a pantry ought to have. But as we've pointed out, uh, we went through and uh, some of these things are... Well, it's funny, they look like food to me, but but I can't make things with these. Well, so let's, I think we should divide these into two categories. Things that are actually useful that you never use, and things that no one would make a dish out of. Okay, so what's a thing no one would, what, so no one would use? Let's do? start, let's just start over here. Okay, Nes we've got a fairly Nesquik's. full bottle of Nesquik strawberry syrup. Yeah. I don't know when the last time you've used that, because it's very full. I mean, I don't even know if you've ever used it. I had, definitely I had one. But it's... I've had this for three years, by the way. But generally, I guess my question is, what do you think you can make out of that that would milkshake. sustain you? Milkshake! Do you regularly make milkshakes? No. Uh, no. Well, so <laughs> no. maybe it's not a good thing to have in your pantry. Okay. All right. Is there anything um, else that is just useless? So we've got, you know, this. <laughs> this I, is... I, no, hang on. I have these. I, I drink these. Horlicks... Hot, malted, multi this is malted, malted milk. This is maybe I'm milk. unfamiliar as this as is a, a nice bedtime drink that English people have. We're gonna we're gonna keep that because that's all nice. right. Well, we'll keep that. I just I just want to say this definitely isn't something that sustains you. This is perhaps a treat. Okay, so what we're yes yes one of the problems was that my pantry has a number of things that uh, are not uh, yeah the, the the whole core I mean, of eating and same same with 
Same with Marmite. Which now, is, I like I know Marmite. You, I know you like Marmite, and I'm not here which to pretend that Marmite is bad. Which is why I have two jars of it. But you have two jars. Yes. And the questions that I have are, do you use two jars worth of Marmite on a regular basis? And is, does Marmite really sustain? Is it like a core food product that you put in your body? Well, are you mostly made of Marmite? With my current lifestyle, the answer is yes. The answer well, is yes. I I eat a lot of Marmite on toast. So there's the let's just Marmite on toast and a, and a nice malted Horlicks is a nice bedtime before bedtime. This is thing I have. This is this is a Brexit type um, uh, show. We're not gonna we're not gonna <laughs> indulge in that. Then there's a bunch of things that are actually sort of useful. Okay. That you just seem to not use. Right. So right. You have. Breadcrumbs. Breadcrumbs. You have I've never vinegar. used these breadcrumbs. I don't know what the other is. It's completely full. I don't even know what you... you have vinegar is disgusting. I can't even believe that you use this to, for food. You have sesame oil, which is, I think, a thing that I use regularly. I've never, this, I don't know, the the expiration know how, date on that? how it lost... Uh, uh, no, no, best before uh, December 2019. Uh, <laughs> it's 2021. Um, you have So two, that's expired. You have two that's oregano... <laughs> Bottles. I don't know what oregano is. So oregano is an herb. See, this is fine. We're, we're learning. Oregano is an herb. I don't know what an herb is. The thing is, it's actually useful. It's tasty. But oh, it smells good. No, I sometimes have this on, on toast. On che cheese, toast, really? marmite. Do you? It's, it yeah. seems completely full. I mean... Uh, and I you think, have two of them. Well, I don't, I don't, I'm not saying you don't I don't have any other when, spices. When I go home, my mother puts, this is what oh, okay. I recognize. <laughs> okay, you recognize the smell. I, I, it should be said that some of the stuff in the pantry is there because my mother that put it there because she thought it'd be useful. I mean, so oregano can be useful, but I think the, 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 the thing that I want to get across yes. here is the things that are probably useful to keep in your pantry yes. are things that you like and eat. And things that might sustain you. So, I <laughs> not, might not not things that should you be in think a pantry. A pantry like the platonic form of right. a pantry. You go, oh, it would have cornstarch in it. Oh, so of course I'll put I'll cornstarch. Put cornstarch. It's now and, it's a pantry vinegar. You know, and even things like soy sauce and sesame oil, which I think are very useful. Uh, yeah. If you don't use them, <laughs> don't maybe maybe you don't buy them and you work up to it. <laughs> I feel like this is not actually useful. I feel like most people watching it have already learned the lesson: do not keep a bunch of sauces. You Look, I actually knows? I actually don't know. If people <laughs> Because it's very basic. I do think that there is a tendency to think, well, these things will all be useful. Yes. But but as you and I both know, yes. a process is supposed to serve a person rather than the people serving the process. So you're yes. not supposed to be in service to your pantry. Your pantry right, is just right. supposed to contain right. things that you actually use. So uh, this is a meal. What about this? So mashed potatoes. I'm going to, what we're going to try to do here on this show is not have any food snobbery. But I will say, <laughs> Okay, here comes the food snow room. That uh, the, hardly any fat. The, the reason to have these ostensibly now, is that they're cheaper and they take less time mm -hmm. than normal potatoes. Now to make it's worth saying out. that instead of a potato, what you get with these is 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 uh, flakes. Essentially, a big mountain of flakes. Um, I don't. And if you taste the flake, potato, my goodness, that no? doesn't really taste like anything. <laughs> <laughs> is that what you think a potato tastes like? <laughs> I, can't, I can't believe how little this tastes like potatoes. <laughs> We're going to make some real mashed potatoes with potatoes, which are, one, taste much better, <laughs> and two, don't actually cost this that much not... more. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, and you'll, you'll actually enjoy them, and they don't yes. take that long to make. So there are some things. The most useful thing, so I was trying to think, is there anything that we can actually make out of your pantry? Um, which is difficult. Yes. Um, you also, have, so, you also the, have this. This. Oh well. So I have tin foil, which is useful. But I, this is this was just an accident. Was uh, my tin foil did a whole like uh, it rolled and then, for yeah, like and then six you're... feet, and then once the tin foil rose for six feet, putting it back, and I. I I mean, but that's, this has nothing to do with no. my diet. No, it's, but just, it, it it's, a, it's, a, it's a clumsy kind of situation. It's, it symbolizes uh, how I am in, in the kitchen. Okay, you have soup? a can of soup. You could can make a can of soup. of soup. That's fine. Vegetable barley soup. Low fat. Hardly any fat. Hardly any cholesterol. Hardly Here are some diet. things that I think are actually useful for you from what I know that you actually eat. Protein bars. We're going to ignore the protein bars. Are we? I live um, on these. The basically, just to get my current diet... Is protein is bars. mostly protein bars. Uh, it's not crazily unhealthy. It's just uh, 
Protein drinks. Yeah, you, you uh, like the protein drinks and the protein bars. Protein chips. Because I'm a vegetarian, so the What's protein, protein is chip. Good. Like, I guess let's step back. Why do you even want to learn how to cook? Why do you even want to learn how to feed yourself? Ooh. Uh, well, uh, I think probably because uh, I, I suspect that it would improve my life significantly if I think I'd probably be, from what I'm told, and I don't know because I've never eaten well, uh, healthier and happier and... Uh, blah, blah, blah. You know, if you make... I don't want to spend like half my life laboring over mm -hmm. meals. I mean, I, but it is true that I spend a lot of time just stressing yeah. about how to feed myself because I don't have the knowledge. And you're like, oh no, where will so, my next meal come from? So and I, you know, I don't actually save time. I always think, oh, well, you, you, know, you know, you don't cook. Cooking takes a lot of time, but I don't really save any time because I still have to fret and n find things to nibble at and peck at. Yeah, so here's, I, so that's sort of what I suspected. And I think what we're going to try to do is figure out, okay, well, mm -hmm. it actually doesn't take that much more time. It does give you more nutrients and more vitamins. It might be fun, but you don't have to love cooking and it doesn't have to be your whole okay. life to actually make meals for yourself. Okay. So there are some useful things. Mm -hmm. Sugar doesn't make a meal, but is does go into a number of things if you're actually going to so do baking. So this is an ingredient is, that I have that is a real that, and useful ingredient. This is you really useful. What I, I mean, you what you have in your pantry depends on what you like, but what I tend to think people yeah. should have are things that, in a pinch, could make a meal, yeah. or that they use a lot in many meals. So, right. for example, a bag of rice, a bag of dried beans, salt. Sea salt. Salt. You use salt in most things, so it's good to have salt. Oregano. Mm. Oregano, if you use a lot, you should have yeah. oregano. You know, the yeah. things that you might use. If you but ended I... up using a lot of soy sauce, you should have soy sauce. Yes. If you don't, well, yes. maybe don't you have soy okay. sauce. Okay. Um, so there's those things, and yeah, and then things that could make a whole meal if you were in a pinch, like rice and beans, or like some sort of dry yes. lentil. Although or even something with the like rice that. and beans, and I do with this is not my entire pantry, and I do have some rice and some beans. Even with that, I look at it and I go like, well, I don't know what to do to the rice. I can make the rice, can make but the it's rice. plain white rice, and then I have a thing of beans. I can just put beans on on the rice, but I don't know what you what you put. To, f I, f to flavor, flavor them. A bean. Okay. I don't know where flavor comes from. It's sorry. I, the right. flakes. I do like the the, the flakes. <laughs> so, the the most useful thing I think from knowing you are the canned tomatoes. Well, that's why I bought so many of them. Um, yeah. When did you? Uh, oh, these are three. actually. No, this is not. Uh, this is expired. Oh, oh yeah, best by 2019, uh, June 5th, 2019. Okay, I mean, um, canned goods usually last quite a bit longer than their expiration date, but... But it just, it does that's, show that's that I, I have kept... And th these are sort of the primary things in the pen. But I just keep it to look like I, I have tomatoes. So we're going to try to make a lot of practical things on this show. <laughs> yes. To just try to get some basic okay. knowledge of how you're doing. But I want to make an non-practical thing first. Okay! Um, I, I, I love non, not eating practically. So. Um, and it's not a thing that's a meal. It's a thing that you you probably will never make again. Okay. Um, but there, but this is not a show of recipes. This yeah. is a show of figuring out how to think about food. Okay. When you say, okay, so you're going to show me something that is going to... We're not trying to feed me right now. What we're, not we're trying, trying to, to do we'll is make get one me feeding meal. past the uh, process of... Uh, Thinking about, of uh, not... Of thinking that food is a mystery. Because that's one of the things, that's one of the real problems is that food just seems, I really am at a beginner place where food just seems like a strange thing to me. Just the idea of looking, when I look at a pile of ingredients and I think, as I say, I can follow, I've been able to follow a recipe. Mm -hmm. I've made nice lemon bars before even. I have I've, not made I've, nothing. You yeah, know, I've, I've eaten lemon I bars that a, you've made. I've eaten a biscuit that you've made. I made a biscuit. It was um, delicious. So, you made an egg salad, salad once? I've made egg salad before. Um, but uh, when, when that happens, it's really haphazard. Yeah, and so, I mean, you have some things that could have made a meal if they weren't expired. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so... <laughs> For example, crushed tomatoes. Yes. Um, what would you do with them? Well, I mean, there's a lot of things that go that tomatoes go in, but you could have made a you could have made a tomato sauce, put it on some pasta, put some vegetables in it. That's a nice meal. Are the <laughs> this is gonna be a horribly stupid question? 
No, this on, is the stupid question show. On what is the difference between the tomatoes and the sauce? These are, they, I mean, this looks like a sauce. Okay, this is a good question. This is a, this is a, food is a black the, box that I can't understand. The, the tomatoes are the sauce. If you had whole tomatoes, yes. you could mash them. And, and then they would be become the, a sauce that you could cook. Because you're going to put other things in before. Yeah, sauce, you, right? well, no. It just tomatoes so are just... Technically, like, paste, tomato paste is the beginning of... Okay. Well, crushed tomatoes or yeah. whole tomatoes in a can or pureed tomatoes, they're all the beginning of a sauce. Okay. And then it's up to you what flavors you want to put, on, put in it. Right. The only, there's no rules. It's all just what you want to eat. Um, I don't know what I want. I know. We'll, okay. and we'll, we'll get to, we'll get to figuring that, that out. Right. First, but, 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 I think the first, but I think the first thing to understand okay. is you can't get... The only way to get cooking wrong yeah. is to poison someone. And it's very... It's well, kind of difficult, actually, to poison someone. You haven't seen... We haven't seen my cooking <laughs> Well, yet. if you don't do exactly what the chef says, it doesn't mean that you're a failure. The only thing is don't poison anyone. And if you want something to turn out one way then figure out how to make it turn out that way. There's no perfect way to cook something except the way that you want it. Um, and so I'm going to try to figure out how to tell you how to get it the way that you want it. But okay. if you want it in a way that no one else wants okay. it, that's fine. I just, uh, okay. All right.